We're trapping a bunch of painted turtles for a, a population study that we're doing. We're uh, monitoring this population, trying to figure out how many individuals are here. So we'll track the population size over a number of years. So we capture the turtles, we bring them in, we mark them uniquely, and we let them go again. And, and they'll be on their way the rest of the summer. We'll come back again the next year, hopefully recapture some of those same individuals and, and see if those are the um, ones, if they've grown, <clears throat> who they are. And then by capturing and recapturing them over and over again, we'll be able to get a good idea of how many individuals are out here. This is a uh, invasive turtle. This is the red-eared slider. It's not a, uh, it's not a native species up here. They're native down south, but not up here. People release their pets, which is not a good idea, and uh, they let them go in the area. You know, they feel like you know they probably do fine out here, and they do. They do fine, just that they're going to compete with the native species. This this turtle, believe it or not, this turtle will get to be what like that wall. I mean, it, it gets much much larger than the painted turtles do. Because most of what people release, you know, they buy them when they're this big and they're cute. About a year and a half later, they're this big, and they hiss at you and they're not cute anymore. And most people think they're doing a nice thing, releasing them, and, and they're not. And they uh, succeed out here. And so consequently, they're, they're a problem.